What is going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're back here at the river. I'm by myself. No one wanted to come me today and I just heard a nice guard jump right there, y'all. Y'all, you guys just heard it. We're gonna do some guard fishing today. Like I said, the fall weather, all that, all this changing, y'all, and I want to get these species involved in my channel too. So rivers actually get pretty cold too, y'all. It's not just ponds and lakes. So these fish are gonna be reacting the same exact way as bass are too. So today I'm gonna be showing you some little tips and techniques, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna catch these fish. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm by myself. I have a giant net, no one's here with me, so to land something big i'm not gonna it's gonna be a struggle but we're gonna do this today y'all so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and we're ready to get started my tactic today i have my one bait caster that has 17 pound mono and then i have a lot of cut bluegill that i chopped up in little pieces and that's going to be the trick today all right y'all for setup iron rock with my 7.6 this is a powell rod i got my dial with reel i should be throwing braid right now y'all but i only brought mono so we're gonna roll with it. Because these fish have teeth, y'all, I'm not tying my main line to my hook. I'm actually tying it to an 80 pound swivel all the way down to 30 pound mono, all the way down to a size two circle hook, y'all. These are very, very thick. Can't really bomb around here. I have to go get this from a tackle shop a little ways away. Like I said, I got cut bait today, y'all. Can't trick a boat in to eat that. And a guard is what they naturally eat and they can't resist it. So let's get baited up and we're gonna jump into this video. All right, y'all, that's the size I'm gonna be starting off with. Right now we're fishing a river. There's actually one that just came up right there. The current is flowing down, y'all, so you wanna fish into the current or cast where these fish are gonna be posted up at. I know there's gonna be some posted up on that wall because they're out of the current. Cast right against that wall right there. I wanna get my drag situated. Y'all know gar. They are extremely hard to hook. Kind of running out of time here since in the afternoon. So what you do, y'all, as soon as you cast out gar and both in are very predator hunters. So they will eat off the bottom, but a lot of these fish will come to movement. So just like the bluegill videos I've been making, y'all, you want to keep that bait moving. You want to act like this is a real bait. When you do that, you will get a gar to come up and eat your bait. And if you don't get one to eat it, y'all, reel it back in. I just cast right back out again. It's all about the movement. They hear a splash, they hear something vibrate into the water, they will eat it. A good way you can tell y'all when you have a bowfin or a gar is that when a gar eats it, it's just gonna this is gonna get really heavy and it's gonna slowly start swimming off. When a bowfin hits it, you actually see your line jump, and that's just the pressure of them opening their mouth. Super aggressive fish, so you'll know when one takes it when it's a bowfin. All right, y'all, I'm not getting any bites down there. I know the fish are in here, but like I said, it's just one of those times. I'm gonna try casting around this tree here, so then he kind of post up right there. All right, y'all, there's a fish. One just grabbed it. Oh yeah, he's eating it. So what you do now, y'all, this fish, I'm probably gonna miss, 100%. There's a slight chance I'll get him. It's just a matter of fact of how aggressive that fish eats it. If it's a smaller gar, it's gonna take him probably about 20 years to eat this bait. I'm using small pieces too, but just because that's just the way they eat, that's what they do. You really want a bigger gar to eat the bait because you got a better chance of getting them. I'm gonna lock down this drag, y'all. Give him 30 seconds and I'm gonna let loose on him. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go for him. And he's off. No, I got him. I got him. Oh, it's a bow fin. <laughs> he ate it like a gar. Get up here, bud. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. That is the first bow fin. All right, y'all. Look at that fish. It literally ate it so lightly like a gar. But it, like I said, y'all, the water is getting cold. These fish could be just getting a little finicky too. Fish, we're going to grab the BOGO grips. Get this guy clamped. I've got the clamps. Let's go ahead and clamp this guy down. All right, y'all, hook is out. These fish are cold, freezing cold, y'all. All right, y'all, that is the first bow for the day. Look at the patterns on this fish. Looks just like a snake, y'all. These fish are just insane to me. Look at that dot in his tail. What a pretty fish, it really is. These guys need some loving, too. I'm gonna make a whole series on fall, winter, bowfin fishing, y'all, because these guys need some attention. Look at that fish, y'all. Look at his mouth. It's just a pretty, very detailed fish. We're gonna get her back in the water now. All right, y'all, we're gonna get the release on this fish. There she goes. All right, y'all, we just caught our first boat. And the one thing you want to do when you're fishing for any types of species that have teeth is always check your line, y'all. That one didn't choke the bait, but most of them do because they're so aggressive towards food. We're all good. He did not fray my line. The hook is not bent. That's why I'm using thick circle hooks. That's a beautiful catch, y'all. Let's get baited back up. Let's get another. Next piece of bait I'm going to use, y'all, is a tail. I love the tails, especially for gar. Both of them really don't care, but for gar, there's no bones in this tail. So when they're baby gars or any type of gar is eating the bait, it takes so long for them to eat it because they're actually chewing that piece of food and they're working it back to their throat. So if it's got bones in it, any hesitation for those fish to eat it, as most of the time they spit it out, or it just takes them two hours to eat it. If they feel the hook too, they'll spit it out. So that's why I try to tuck the hook barely into the meat. So 
It's a big guard just hit right there. Most of the time, y'all, it's just the meat that's hanging off. And they love it. Let's get back out there and catch our second fish. All right, y'all, so my next fish just blew up right there. So I'm gonna pitch that in there. Oh yeah, that's a good guard right there, y'all. That is a guard, another guard. So if one of these guys eat the bait, like I said, it is going to be super hard to get him to get on the hook. I don't know why guys, this gar, they've been around for 100 million years. They're super smart. They know what food is, but they know what the hook is too. And another gar right there. That's the average size bow fin we've popped in here, y'all. They do get bigger, trust me. I've caught a 17 pounder before. They get giant, but for this river, that's kind of the size they are in here. This isn't bad. Good size, good hard fighting fish. Cause everything's down there, y'all. Gar, they actually breathe air. So do the bow fin. That's why they live in any low pressure waters like rivers and sewers. Very intelligent fish, very intelligent. Oh, there's one, y'all. Feels like a bowfin. He ate it as I was reeling it back in. They eat it so aggressive, you don't have to wait that long. There he is. That's a bowfin. Come here, buddy. Get that momentum. Get up here. All right, y'all. Second bowfin. Probably same size as the first one. What a beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and clamp this fish, y'all. And we got him. Hook is out. Another beautiful bowfin. All right, y'all. My second bowfin is a little bit smaller, but same design. Look how pretty that fish is. She's a beaut, y'all. Another gorgeous brown bow fin, the same pattern, same little bit on the red tail. Skinny fish, probably about two pounds, maybe two and a half. They're thick, but it's not the size we want, but we'll take it. It's a beautiful fish, y'all. Let's get her back in the water. All right, y'all, it's a steep bank. I'm gonna just slide her in. Thank you, sweetie. Let's go, two bow fin, y'all. All right, y'all, next piece of bait is I think this is the breast of the bluegill. It's a good piece right here. Once again, checking for frays on the line. I think we're still all good here. Go ahead and put this piece on. Got some nice guts hanging out. Be a good presentation. It's a good piece right there, y'all. Let's get out there. Like I said, y'all, I'm just kind of yo-yoing this bait off the bottom, letting it sink back down, off the bottom, letting it sink back down. And you will get those fish that come up and eat it. That was a big R. So we can lead them. There's one, y'all. I just felt him eat it. Too. Oh, yeah. That's a bow fin. I'm gonna go for him. There he is. No, that's a gar. Is that a gar? No, that's a bow fin. Get up here, bud. That's a big bow fin. Oh, my God. Yo, that's a tank. That's the biggest one of the day for me so far, y'all. <clears throat> Let's go and get the bogo grips on him. I barely let this dude eat it just because I knew he was a bow finner. And that bait's already down his throat. I see where it's at. I'm gonna use my knife to kind of put pressure on the line. I'm gonna hold the line in my mouth. Just like that. All right, y'all, that's the biggest fish of the day for me. That's a gorgeous bowfin. This one's about four or five pounds. She's a beaut. Look how gorgeous her mouth is, y'all. It's a beautiful fish. It's a living dinosaur right here. A little side angle for y'all. This one's tail's a little split, but still has that beautiful dot on it. Gorgeous fish, y'all. Let's put it back in the water. All right, y'all, once again, I gotta go my little slope here. Slide in, okay. We'll just toss that in my hands. That works too, y'all. Going for the tail, favorite part. I hook it right behind the fin, just like that, y'all. Got enough exposure for the hooks, what you want. Especially if a guard does bite, he's gonna need it because those fish are tricky. Oh, cool little fact, y'all, that most people don't know. The reason why they have that little dot on the back of their tail is because. All those fish are related. They're related to peacock, oscar. I can't think of any other fish that have that little dot on them, but all those fish that do, it's all chained in the same family. That's pretty cool to me. All these species are actually from Florida. They're all evasive. For some reason, bowfin are known for down here. The snakehead, that's another one. The snakehead has the same exact dot. Those two fish look alike, but down here we don't have snakeheads. All we have is bowfin. There's one right there, y'all. Might be a gar. The way it hit, I think it's a bowfin. Let's go for it. There he is. Oh, it came off. And that was a gar. Yeah, that was a gar, y'all. Yep, I see his teeth marks. One thing too, y'all, that's a big no-no. If y'all can see on that hook, so that scale, when you're fishing with bluegill or any kind of bait, those scales will come off and that actually can make you miss a fish. If that scale's in front, it literally will stop your hook set. You do not want that, especially for these fish. There's a bite, y'all. I actually felt that fish thump. Oh, I love that thump, y'all. I don't know if it's a gar or a bowfin or what she is. And I missed the last one, so I'm gonna let this dude eat it for a little bit. All right, y'all, it's been about 45 seconds. I'm gonna give this fish the hook set. Hopefully she stays on. She's going back up current. And any time a fish is going up current, down current, that's how you debate which way you set the hook, y'all. Especially for a small sucker hook like this. I can't reel down on these fish because it won't, it won't penetrate. Let's 
fish is actually going up current right in front of me, so I'm gonna set up on them. Here we go, y'all. Here she is. That's a big bowfin. That's a giant bowfin, y'all. Oh my. Y'all, that's a tank. Y'all, we need a net for this one. Y'all, see, it's a stripping drag on me. This is my PB for in here, y'all, 100%. Come on, fish. Oh my god. Yo, this is a giant. Like, this is an absolute giant. Yo, this is not a joke. Oh my, yo. Get in the net. Get in the net. Yo, we got him. Yo. This has got to be like a 14 pound bow fin. This is an absolute giant. Y'all, I'm speechless right now. I'm going to grab my scale so we can get away from this fish. Alright, y'all, I got my scale. Let's hope this baby works. The batteries were dead on me yesterday. I forgot to change them out. Alright, she's on. Oh my. I do not want to put my hands in this one's mouth, so we're going to get the grips. Yo. <laughs> Yo, that is an absolute giant. Look at the size of that fish right now. Alright, y'all, scale zeroed out. Put down the clamps, y'all. 1053. Y'all, that is an absolute giant. Y'all, look at the size of that bowfin. I'm trying to get her straight up. <laughs> That's a tank, y'all. Look at her mouth compared to the other ones. <sighs> 1053, 1056. This fish is so long. Y'all, look at this fish compared to me. Its tail's on the floor right now. We're gonna measure that when we get home, y'all. Just look at the girth of this baby. <laughs> That's a giant, y'all. PB for this little river right here for me. Alright, y'all. You guys seen her enough. Let's get this baby back to the water so we can catch her again. Alright, y'all. I'm bear hugging this fish. She is so big. Right. Okay, well, I just fell in the water. My bank broke. I'm soaking wet. But she's back in the water. Camera's got water on it, y'all. God, what a giant fish. All right, y'all, it's getting super dark now. This camera's just a little bit louder than the other one because my GoPro's seeing black right now. And this camera is not focusing. There we go. Y'all, I had a blast doing this. That was by far my... Why aren't you focusing? All right, y'all, I'm keeping looking at my screen and this just to make sure that it's focusing. I'm looking at y'all. You guys are my fans, I love y'all. But I've never caught a boat in that big in this creek. When I set the hook, I thought it was a gar because that's the way these gar fight y'all it's just when you set the hook they'll just turn their body towards the current so it just feels heavy but i saw its mouth come up and i was like that's a giant bowfin new pb for this creek y'all 1056 1053 it was around i know it's 1050 something that was a giant we caught four fish today three average little two two to three pounders and that one absolute giant and there's one there's more i promise y'all that so if you guys want to see me come back out here and do some more gar fishing if you guys like the way these angles were in this video today drop a comment down below let me know what y'all thought when we make it happen again but I had a blast from this video. We're going to wrap it right here. If y'all have any questions, concerns, once again, follow me on Instagram, Looking Bass TV. Comment down below on YouTube. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. Any questions, tips, just drop them down below, y'all, and I will get on it as soon as possible. But I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're going to wrap it up right here. If y'all not seen the videos right here, y'all, check them out. Give them a click. Let me know what y'all thought about it. If you want to support me in the future, hit that subscribe button right here. I really appreciate it, guys. Looking Bass TV.